What's going on guys? So we got another worth it video today. So this question has come up pretty much since day one and really even before day one on Dark Asylum. Does the Slayer Helm work? Is it even worth using and whatnot? So I figure we're doing this series, the series is a thing. Let's do it. Let's let's get this let's get a test out. Let's, let's properly test it. So I've tested it before and I know for a fact that it does function. At the very least. And whether it's worth it or not, we're going to find out. But I know for a fact it works. Because if I make the code an obnoxiously high number, giving it a high boost, I can one-hit things. So obviously it's functioning. It's just a matter of, is the number accurate or is it even worth using over other things? So with the combat system here, um, for people who probably don't remember this, because the server's a year old, it's gone through a lot of changes. There was an issue early on with attack styles. You would basically... you. you there was, for some reason, the bonus applied to these was, was way more than it ever should be. If you were an accurate and your your bonus, like your, like, it was basically your damage, really, really, if anything, but you would basically hit a lot more on accurate than you would rapid. So it was really, but it, but more so than you would expect it to be on, like, old school. Because on old school, there's just a slight difference. It's not supposed to be that big of a deal. And for whatever reason, defense was even worse. Def it was considered, like, one, two, and three, three being the better. And um, we evened it all out, so now all styles are affected the same, and that sort of balanced things out. Now, this uh, wasn't exactly the case on Dark Asylum. I believe this was always the issue on Dark Asylum. It was just different. I don't want to talk too much about Dark Asylum, because obviously it doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't even matter. But the logic was the same. The Slayer Helm either didn't... People thought it didn't work, or they seemed to not think it worked. Um, we're gonna get we're gonna get to the bottom of it. We're gonna test it out. So, I know for a fact it works. I, I'm guessing that the, because of the damage being higher, that it's maybe the boost is not as good as it should be. Maybe th things like uh, Armadale Helmet might be better. Now, obviously, I'm testing this with range. Um, I might try a melee setup as well just to see if that makes any difference in the numbers. We're gonna find out. Let's uh, get started. So, what I'm gonna do is I have a little tracker. We are on Slayer Task. We have 25 Abyssal Demons. I'm going to see how long it takes me to kill 5 Abyssal Demons. I'm going to pot up. I will be praying, and I'm going to try to not AFK. I will be, uh, be paying attention and killing them quickly. And so we'll see how how long that takes to do 5 with the Slayer Helm. We'll switch to the Armadale Helm and see how long that takes. And then, depending on the numbers, we'll see what we uh, decide with melee. Um, I suppose magic might be... Magic, I mean, magic's on the same boat. I think, if anything, the magic might be the better one. Um, and for people who ask, all the Slayer Helms work for all the styles. There's no version that's unimbued or anything like that. I know in Dark Asylum there was. I'm talking about that server way too much. But on here, there's it, every single Slayer Helm works for every single style. There's no reason to imbue it. The one you can create is no different from the one that you can buy from the store. They're all good. So let's uh, let's get started. All right, so we are five demons down, 110. It's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. Let us jet down the time and the notepad. Are you seeing anything worthwhile? Nope. I kind of you. I have like five different notepads that are just full of random code I want to save for something later, and I never end up deleting it. But I just want to make sure it wasn't important. All right, let's try it with the helmet now. All right, so with the helmet done, 117. So it was seven seconds faster. Now. The thing is, those numbers are so close that I feel like we should do it again. But before we do that, we're going to do another run just to see what kind of numbers we get the second time around. I want to do one without a helmet at all and just see if maybe it makes no difference whatsoever. Now, obviously, range would be different because the strength bonus is coded into the... Um, well, depending on the weapon or... As most, most of the time, it's the arrow, but I think for this, it's like a combination of the blowpipe and the dragon dart. Um, but for melee, obviously, strength controls that. So um, the melee tests will be very interesting. All right, so that is dead. Congrats to Timmy over there. He just got the whip. Uh, 131. So, yes, that was noticeably uh, slower without a helmet at all. All right, so let's do one more round with the range stuff. I'll resume when we have the final results. I just want to see if we get similar numbers or if maybe these two... Because I feel like these two numbers are too close to really have some sort of, like... You know, we'll just, we'll just do another run, just for testing. Right, so that is 114. I said I wasn't going to, but then I forgot that I said I wasn't going to and did it anyway. So, haha! -ha! Hello. <laughs> 114. So, see, the numbers are pretty similar. Let's try it one more time without the helmet. I only have five left, so we're not going to do it again with no helmet. We already... I think, I, think the, I think the time difference there kind of proved that having no helmet would obviously not be wise. 
All right, so so far this is proving to be a pretty slow kill. It started off fast and then it just kind of pewtered downwards. But as you can see, we're actually getting a time comparable to not having a helmet at all. 129. Very interesting. Uh, so I totally forgot. I don't even have melee gear on this account. I have to hop accounts. Let's see if melee makes a difference. Okay, so I'm doing it with the Slayer helmet, and I have one left, and uh, it seems like it's definitely faster. The time to beat is 55 seconds, although it is catching up. It looks like it's going to beat the Slayer helmet, though. Yeah, beat it by two seconds. Very interesting. So for range, with the Slayer helmet, it was better. With melee, it seems to be worse. Let's do one more test, just for just for test's sake. Interesting. So I just finished the second time. It was exactly the same. It was the exact same time. So realistically, looking at the numbers, it it's pretty comparable. I mean, I feel like the Slayer helmet needs to be buffed uh, because of the difference in the Slayer, the melee and the range. I'm actually going to try magic. I'm gonna go switch with magic gear. Let's try this with magic and see if we can have any any different results maybe, or maybe it's gonna be similar, but you can tell the Slayer Helm is working and it's definitely on par with whatever the, uh, the second item is, but obviously the whole point of the Slayer Helm is that you're on task and that's what's supposed to provide a, a boost. Um, the great thing about doing this video on a Thursday is the update is tomorrow and I have, I got, I got all the coding stuff up. So whatever changes we need to make, we can do that. Okay, so I don't have the best of magic gear. Big shoutouts to uh, JDK Chaos or JD Chaos uh, for letting me use the ancestral hat. That's what we'll compare it to. Uh, so this is the gear. Um, doesn't really matter as long as the, the the only thing changing is the the helmet. So uh, same drill, potions, five minutes, blah, blah or five, five kills, blah blah. I'm dumb. Didn't bring runes. Okay, so we just finished the last kill. These are the results. So with the Slayer helmet. Our first time was 223, our second time was 214, with the Ancestral Hat, 238 and 226. So, the Hat won in both times. Um, I feel like it's it could be buffed a smidge in all of them, but I think Melee is definitely the one where it uh, it, it needs to be better. The fact that it actually was, was better... Um, it, doesn't really, it's, it doesn't really surprise me just because so many people um, think that the helmet's broken. So it makes sense that the numbers are similar, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll buff them. So now we know. We have learned. Slayer Helmet is pretty good, just for melee, it, it could be a buffed. And I think I'll do a little bit of buffing to the other zones, or to the other styles as well, just so it's way more noticeable.